Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK. My name is Tom, and today we're going to be cooking easy peasy burger rolls. So first of all, we need a food processor with a kneading tool. Then we're going to add 250 grams of a strong bread flour, 12 grams of brown sugar, 12 grams of butter half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of dry yeast and pop the lid on and for the liquids you want 50 millilitres of boiling water and 100 millilitres of milk add the water to the milk to bring the temperature up and then add that in slowly while the blender's on so knead this for 10 minutes and then you should have a nice sticky dough ball Grease a large bowl with spray oil, place in your dough ball, cover with cling film and place in the air and cupboard for an hour. So after an hour your dough will have doubled in size, you just want to take it out and give it another little knead to knock the air bubbles out. Next you want to take your dough and divide it into quarters. Then you can start shaping your dough into the shape you want your buns to be. Keep your burger buns flat and not too round, otherwise they end up coming out like a tennis ball. Then you want to place these onto a baking tray, put them back in the airing cupboard for a second proof for an hour. So these have had their second hour in the airing cupboard and they've pretty much doubled in size again. So now it's time to get them in the oven and go 12 minutes at 160 degrees. So our buns have had 12 minutes. And you can see they're nice and golden brown without taking on too much colour. And they're lovely and soft. Next we want to get these transferred onto a wire rack to cool. So now that they've cooled you can really just see how soft they are. So we're going to get one of these cut open for you, so you can see how fluffy they are inside. And slice through the middle. As you can see they're all light and fluffy. Just refocus the camera. Full of air bubbles, nice light fluffy buns. So we've got no taste test today. Just, after all, they're just burger buns. What I am going to do in the next couple of weeks is I'm going to do a, a toasting bun a comparison video. So there's lots of different ways, lots of different people toast their buns in different ways. We're going to put them all to the test and work out which is the best way to get a nice crisp coating on that bun to stop all your sauces from soaking in. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel hit the bell, receive notifications, and then you can make sure that you catch that video all about toasting the buns. Uh, thank you very much for watching.